Yo, what's going on everybody? Um, today's video is obviously a major step um, in the LS build. It's one step closer to paint and body. Um, but before the video starts, I really just want to premise a couple of things. Um, number one, the conditions for us working that weekend and filming and everything were absolutely horrible. Um, we're in the middle of winter and that garage is not heated. It was below 15 degrees Fahrenheit in there all weekend. Um, concrete floors, no heat unbelievably uncomfortable um, also the the breaker blew uh, all kinds of you know variables in there that i hadn't really expected and it was not a fun time and it was very stressful for me just worrying about everything going okay and um, feeling bad for the guys that were helping me because the conditions were just horrible um, and yeah the other thing is the guys that i had come out help me with the welding um, huge hats off to them for coming and doing that in those conditions but uh they weld piping for a living um working on cars and working with like really thin cheap metal is not what they do um so please if you have any comments throughout this video uh, any snarky remarks about welding and what they should have done could have done blah 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 please keep them to yourself because uh it really doesn't matter now anything that you say is not going to help us um it's really just kind of you're seeing it for your own benefit um, because it's already done everything is already set in place and if we made mistakes we did certain things a certain way it's already done so can't really go back on it um, but yeah hopefully you guys enjoy the video and I am glad to be moving on to the next step see ya Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Uh, today we are doing a major update on the LS. Um, we are finally welding everything. The rear end, there's a whole bunch going on. We're gonna tub the rear end, uh, weld the rear flares on, cut the door jam sections, reconstruct the door jam, all kinds of shit. And I've been here every day this week till super late after work, just cutting and grinding. And I haven't filmed any of it because I didn't feel like it was gonna be super interesting, um, but yeah. My man Tyler literally just showed up as we were recording. This man is coming through, help me out with the welding today. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting. So, bought wheel tubs, which they're technically not wheel tubs, but kind of are. These are trailer fenders. Um, I bought these from Tractor Supply Co for like 50 bucks a piece. They are 32 by 15 inches by nine inches wide. Um, I thought that I was going to use most of this and I've ended up just literally cutting it to pieces. So for this side, they're cut now into these small thin little pieces. Um, and then I've been cutting at these bits right here just to try and get these into like tight corners. Yeah, this piece will go right up in here, tucked up high and kind of lines up with there. And then the lowest point of the fender is right here. I didn't want to have to cut into all of that because then I'd have to like literally rebuild all of that and then do the same thing on the door, which is too much work. And thankfully where the wheel sits is like right on there. Um, so that's the lowest point of the inside of the fender. Um, and I basically cut this to stop like right there and then another piece to go in right here and then yeah the biggest thing to do will be reconstructing the inside of the door jam so yeah i'll probably we'll probably tack weld this bottom right here and put that in this. place first yeah so it's okay. like out more yeah and we can bend that one up there we'll make it go up there all right so as you can see this is where top of the wheel arch is uh the original wheel arch was a little bit lower than where this point is um so obviously we're doing considerably higher, maybe an inch, two inches higher on the inside. Um, yeah, biggest thing for me is just making sure that everything seals up correctly um, because obviously you don't want any kind of water or anything causing rust.
Oh no, my paint. <laughs> Is it, it's going to go further that way, right? So yeah, like yeah, well yeah. To that. Okay. that sticker it goes like right here on that sticker. Perfect. Yeah, I would say that would probably be good. Okay, so... The tub on that side of the car is basically done. Um, I'm about to do the part that I've been the most nervous about this entire time, which is cutting the piece of the flare that goes on the door. Don't be here all day with that one. <laughs> it's, it's not bad, actually. <laughs> So it's not perfect, there's a little bit of jagged cut right there, but I'm more than happy with that because that shit was stressing me the fuck out. Now we're welding the rest of this. Boom. She's on there. We've done this side. Still need to go up and tidy up this gap a little bit, but it's on there. There's tons of clearance inside. This new livery looks sick. <laughs> okay, so I want to apologize that I haven't done the best job at documenting stuff today. Uh, I've had so much anxiety building up to doing this just because there's so much that could go wrong with it and I really don't know what I'm doing. Um, the guys that I come well with this, they obviously haven't done this specifically before. Um, so it is nerve wracking. It's very hard to then go back from doing this if you make a mistake. But thankfully, um, it's gone pretty smooth. Uh, and this side is done for the most part. We still have a little bit more to figure out and then tomorrow we're gonna do the other side. But I'm hoping because we got so much trial and error out of the way today that tomorrow goes a little bit smoother and we kind of know what we're doing with the other side. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna run you through everything that we did today so you can get a good look at it. And I appreciate that it is not the cleanest thing in the world right now. Obviously, everything still needs to be shaved down, needs to be body worked. Um, there's a lot that needs doing still, so it's not anywhere close. But the flare is on there. The tub is on there. Let's take a look. Yes, it is literally burnt to all fuck. Now, one of the biggest issues that we actually had was when we were welding the tubs in, um, this quarter panel was warping like fucking crazy. Um, I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but it is like extremely wavy, which it's not the worst thing in the world because it is obviously gonna get body worked. Um, and we decided that when we welded the flare on that we're just gonna tack it in place like I did on the front, because if you just keep a constant bead going along there, it just warps like crazy. And I really didn't want the flare to end up getting warped. This is okay if it gets a little warped because it's gonna get covered up. But if this gets bent all out of shape, it's gonna look fucking horrible and it's gonna be really hard to fix. So yeah, that's gonna stay like that. Um, and I'm gonna do what I can to then get everything sealed from the bottom side. Um, this, this was unbelievably nerve wracking to do because I really didn't wanna make a mistake. Um, I'm very happy with how that looks right now. I still need to take a little bit more material out of the center right there just to get it even. I'm trying to get this gap pretty much consistent throughout. Um, I'm very happy with that. We still need to tack the, uh, the corner in place right there. But yeah, that looks super, super good. Um, it doesn't look awkward like from any angle. Come over here, looks super natural. Um, from this side, it also looks natural. Open the door, that really doesn't, I mean, granted it is not body worked, but when it is, like that doesn't look awkward at all to me. 
sorry if I sound a little bit shaky in my voice. A uh, lot of anxiety, and I also need to poop really bad, so I'm just trying to do this. But yeah, the inside of this still needs to get figured out. Um, we're going to work on that tomorrow morning. Um, the tub on the inside, I'm going to show you that in a second. It is not super pretty right now. I've got a little shaving to do, but um, yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a struggle figuring that out. But um, that's going to be something that we address tomorrow. I'm not going to show you anything in too much detail on the inside yet, just because it looks bad. But um, I cleaned this up a little bit, sprayed some white primer on there just so you can get an idea. And you can see how fucking warped the quarter panel is. Um, so yeah, thankfully bodywork is going to fix all of that. But yeah, it's, it's not pretty right now. As you can see, it is wavy as fuck. And yeah, it... You know, it doesn't look that great, but the nice thing is bodywork is going to cover all of that should look so much better. I, I apologize in advance to the bodywork guy for all of that, but yeah, I'm very happy to see this. That door line looks fucking fantastic. The gap is even. Um, I'm beyond stoked. And, you know, if you come back here, like this view of it is fucking phenomenal i'm just so like overwhelmed with how cool that is finally getting to see that like on there without being held there by tape is a great feeling back in the shop working on the ls again today doing some more cutting shaving welding um things are starting to come together guys got over here pretty early this morning and already put together the inside of this door jam which um actually looks better than I was expecting. And obviously I need to do a little bit more shaving and grinding to smoothen it out, but it looks pretty sweet. Got a piece of metal to fill in there and kind of bent up at this end to go up that way. Um, but yeah, all of these welds just need to be smoothed off and somewhat body worked and it's pretty solid. It's, uh, it's all sealed up. I checked clearances. Everything looks like it's pretty good, at least on these wheels. Um, I may have to shave the inside of this just slightly, but for the most part, everything looks like it's pretty good with that. And the door still closes. So that's the good thing. Oh, trim's in the way. I moved the trim out of the way. So yeah, once all those welds get shaved down, um, it should look really, really good. Got the boys back over here. <coughs> Choke it on whatever the fuck is on fire right now. <laughs> for fire prevention on this side, because the, uh, the like intake tube for the fuel tank is right there, we stuffed a shirt in behind where the tubs go in so that it wouldn't catch fire to the fuel tank. But the shirt caught fire, so we removed it. <laughs> fucking stinks. While Tyler works on that side, I'm gonna attempt to start getting to grind on this and see what we can get it looking like. All right, got it looking a lot cleaner, um, but can't get in these like crevices up in here because the discs just can't get in there. Uh, I'm gonna have to hit that with like a Dremel or a sanding belt or something. Um, but yeah, it doesn't look too bad. It's a little like wavy or whatever, but most of that's gonna be fixed with bodywork. Um, same thing with kind of this like edge line here. But uh, yeah, it's really not too bad. And then if I close the door. Looks fucking great. Literally, uh, can't really tell. That looks like the most comfortable position I've ever it seen. Is. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we blew the breaker in here, and I had to go back through my messages from back to August when I first got the keys to this place to find the landlord. Um, <laughs> Gave him a call and he didn't really tell me anything. He's just like, it's gonna be a little while. So I have no idea what he's doing. Uh, we've just been hanging out when he got some food and then we found out that there is one other outlet in here that is 
different than the others and it seems to work still. So we're just running an extension from that when I get back to welding and hopefully not blow the breaker again. Okay, everyone, I understand I've done an absolutely terrible job of filming this weekend. Um, and the reason why is just because I have been super anxious and stressing about like making sure that this goes smoothly. Um, for the record, none of us know what we're doing exactly. Um, the guys that were helping me out with the welding, they weld pipe for a living. This is obviously not what they do. Um, if you are wanting to do something like this, I would recommend um, going to a body shop and having them do it. But uh, for my sake, I just wanted to get really hands on with this and like figure it out, trial and error. Um, and that's basically what we did. Um, so yeah, I don't wanna hear anything in the comments about like people saying anything about welding or blah, blah, blah. Um, it just isn't relevant. We're kind of just figuring it out, making it up as we go. Like anything you say in the comments being like, you should have done this, blah, blah, blah. It's not really helpful because we've obviously already done this. Um, and I'm pretty content with where everything's at right now. Um, I don't want to show you too much because obviously it looks pretty ugly right now. It needs a lot of body work. Yeah, I mean, I, I, can, I can kind of run you through everything that we have, um, but I think I'm probably gonna come back sometime this week and I need to get a lot more work done on this. Um, this is the thing with YouTube that like bothers me is people hold YouTubers to like a high standard. Like you guys would be watching the videos and I don't know, it's just really easy to judge someone when I'm a very normal person and I don't know what I'm doing and I'm happy to admit that. Um, I think when I show you this, you guys are gonna like expect it to look good or like done or whatever. And I'm gonna be frankly honest, it's, that's not the case. That's not how it's gonna look. Um, the main thing for me is that everything is on the car, sturdy, everything clears the way I want it to. Um, and it's all like sealed up. That's like the most important thing. Um, everything else can get taken care of after the fact. So cleaning everything up, getting it smooth, doing the bodywork, blah, blah, blah. So yes, when I show you this, I want you to take it with a grain of salt that it's obviously not going to look like this when it's finished. Probably me and my anxiety and just being a perfectionist, like I don't wanna show this because it doesn't look good. Um, Let's take a look at what we have done here this weekend. Okay, so first up, obviously you guys saw that we did this side yesterday. Um, we came back and did a bunch more. We did the inside of the door jam on this side, which um, we've now built up a ton because basically we did the inside of the door. I shaved everything back today. Um, we saw certain spots where it was getting a little thin. So we built all of this back up and it still needs to be shaved back down and kind of leveled out. Um, so yes, it obviously um, is not pretty right now. It looks like a fucking giant mess. Um, but yeah, all of this can get ground down, shaved back, um, looking way more presentable, and then obviously all the bodywork. All of this, everything is exactly where I want it. Um, I was running into a slight issue where I was worried about the inside right here being a little too low, um, and that the, the tire may make contact, but I managed to hammer it up a little bit and then obviously we've like reinforced it a bunch with all these welds on top. So yes, it is not pretty, it is not supposed to be, it's functional, that's the point. Um, the insides of the doors, we decided against welding these because I didn't want the outside of the door to start warping and then throw everything off. Um, and so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up filling this up with a like sealant foam and then we'll basically like bondo um, and, and build something and shape it to like look a lot better than just being an open hole. Um, so yes, that closes. Uh, everything on that line needs to be cleaned up. And obviously once this is all shaved back, it'll look a lot better. Um, that's a fresh tack right there. These ones that are already shaved. Um, yeah, but if you see it from this angle and ignore the fact that it's like two different colors, it does look fantastic. Everything lines up the way I wanted it to. Um, I can kind of imagine it like fully like smoothed out and 
Uh, I'm very excited about that. But yeah, of course, like I mentioned yesterday, when we did the tubs on the inside, all of this got warped as fuck. Now I know that you should probably like turn the temperature down on the welder. Um, but here's the thing, like that sheet metal right there is paper, paper thin. So there was nothing we could do to really like avoid that. Um, thankfully, it can all be fixed with bodywork. My main thing was making sure that this outside edge of the lip on the flare is straight and perfect. And this can all be taken care of after the fact. So it's not the end of the world. And the inside, I'm not going to show you any of the inside yet because I want to go through, make sure that everything is good. I want to seal any extra bits up that I need to. And then I'm going to spray uh, like bed liner or whatever in there. So I'm not going to show any of that just yet because it isn't going to look presentable whatsoever. I can show you inside of here in kind of see we do have tubs welded in there. It's fucking sweet. Okay, so this side got most of the attention today, so I haven't had a chance to go through and get all of the burn marks off of here. So yes, it does not look great. It looks like it caught on fire, which um, is exactly what it did. But uh, yeah, everything is in place. Now, the inside of this, I haven't had the chance to go through and do properly yet. So I've shaved some of it down. Um, we were getting a little thin here, but we built this up too high. So uh, we put extra on the bottom and then this still needs to get shaved down a bunch right here. Um, everything else is relatively close. Um, it's really not too bad. And here. Door closes still, everything lines up the way I wanted it to. All right, so one thing I wanna mention, uh, before we came in this weekend to do this, I was hoping that we were gonna go redo the front flares so we do uh, an entire like bead the whole way along. Um, we decided not to do that because after welding the tubs in and realizing how badly it warps everything, we didn't wanna do an entire bead along the whole flare. Um, so we didn't do that for the rear either. We're obviously not doing that in the front. And yeah, we just tacked it in place. It is ridiculously sturdy. It's never gonna go anywhere. So I'm not worried about that. Um, but yeah, the point now is I'm gonna come in with some kind of a silicone or something on the inside to get it sealed up so I don't have to worry about like moisture or anything getting up to where the Bondo is and fucking that up. Um, but yeah, it's not gonna go anywhere. Um, I trust that I should be able to get it sealed from the bottom side and hopefully everything will be perfect. But anyways, guys, I'm sure that there is more that I need to touch on and address in this video. I just can't think off the top of my head right now. Um, it's been a pretty stressful weekend. We have been working in like super cold conditions. It's freezing, there's no heat in this garage the fucking breakers blowing out. Like it's, it's been a pain in the ass and nobody likes fucking sitting on the ground in cold ass weather trying to weld on a car. It's, it's not fun. Um, so I massively, massively appreciate the guys for coming out. I'm gonna have all of their information in the description, their Instagrams. Um, so if you wanna hit them up and have them come out and do some welding, if you just need some you know, little stuff done or whatever, let them know, um, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching, massively appreciate it. It's been the major, major step towards getting this thing closer to paint and body is now there. The flares are on the car, no more tape, no more fucking mocking it up. It's there, it's solidified, like if it doesn't fit, we're fucked. So yeah, my new wheels hopefully will be coming in, I don't know when, sometime soon. Um, I'm very excited about that. So yeah, stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in another video really, really soon. Bye.